There's a car in the driveway. Stand right there. Ready to run this play. Frank, yesterday, Lincoln, 7437. Frank, yesterday, Lincoln, 7437 is on our 2017 Chevy. Anyway. Listed out of Lakewood, and it's showing a uh, 27 attached to it for a Tony Smith. From Larson, he had a normal set. Okay, it's parked in the CR. Copy. Nothing looks disturbed. The gate is open. That's coming back to somebody uh, with a warrant or something. Um, I have that address. I'm going to start tapping on these doors over here. Doesn't nothing look disturbed over here, by the way. The address is going to be 4923 Ridge Road, 4923 Ridge Road. And the only phone number attached is going to be 216. Five five nine eight one one nine. Sylvester Sims. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Okay, the address is that at this digital function. Um, that's Parma. Tap right here. Try to, is it a door to the front here? Go 
note that per the caller, getting to the child was possibly very a couple of months ago. Okay, copy that. Uh, on the update on our end, there's nothing in the rear looks to be disturbed, so uh, we, we have somebody at the door right now, so stand by. Yeah. Are there party kids here? You mind if we step in? Okay. Um, you have one of uh, the four or five year olds. How old are you? Four? Okay. Is it a boy? A girl? Or what? No boy. Oh boy, what's the boy's name? Anthony. Okay. Um, let's see if you can get a name. Okay. Is there anything? Well, we got a call. Say, uh, want us to check on the on the uh, well-being of the uh, five-year-old, four to five-year-old. How many kids are there? Okay. What well, can we see? Okay, I believe you. Don't mind me. But I have to walk in and out in my. Okay. Okay. Negative, just on the brother of Rodriguez right and his girlfriend, Larissa Rodriguez. Let me know. All right. Hello, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. All right. Apparently, Larissa has. What's your name, Mel? Apparently, Larissa has nine other children, and she told the other. Is there, I mean, Oh, no, hold on. Do you have any ID or anything? Yeah. She got five kids. She said she has nine. It's it's like four in that room up there. Watch the walk. kids do you have now? I have nine all together. Okay. But I have some that don't live with me. But these are the ones that do live with me. Okay. Where's Christopher at? He's in jail. He's been in jail. For child support. He's been in there since like October. Oh. Was he was he here when the dog bit the lady? Yeah. That was I him, right? Was so. that him? Yeah. But he hasn't even been there. No. He's been in the Dinah family. Jennifer, do you want to head up to the highway to the 7222 with this four-car accident? That's why I was surprised when my son came down and said, my little boy said, huh? Christopher's been in jail for Since how long? Since October. It's October? Yeah. He's been in the Diamond County. Hey, I'm loving it. Um, He's been there October 24th. What's his last name? Uh -huh. What's Christopher's last Rodriguez. name? Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. Is that your husband? No, we're not legally, legally married. Gotcha. He's in jail in Medina? Yeah. He's in Medina County. He's been in there since October 25th. October 24th, October 25th, something like that. Do you have a child with special needs? Oh, Jordan? Yes, I do. How old is Jordan? Jordan, he is just turned five. Where's Jordan at? He's with his dad. He's visiting, going to be visiting for the holiday. He's not here with us right now, right now, for the holiday. Where's dad at? In Texas. He's not even here. Is that who you guys are pertaining to? Um, maybe possibly. What was the call mainly about? Just checking the welfare. Oh. I get, all, I get these all the time because I got ignorant ones who want to sit there for a long time. Do you know, um, uh, what's his dad's name, Jordan's dad? Patrick. Pat? Do you have a number to Patrick to be reached at? We need a list of them. Right a list? Yeah. 
<laughs> Can I get a pen? And sure. Or you could tell me. Here, I'll write it down because First, it's a lot easier. Okay. Firstborn, all the way down the line. Okay. Supposedly, Jordan is with Dad yes, in Texas. Yes, he's with Dad. Um, we can call him. Yeah. Huh? Right now, I don't have the number because he was going to get a new number. Okay. But, but he's got family, so we can yes. talk to them. I mean, I don't know what this is pertaining to. Just, a, just to the young, young uh, oldest to the youngest. Mm -hmm. And if you know the date of birth, put it under there. That'll be fine. How long have you been living here? I've been here about two, two years. Two years, okay. One and three. that they're probably talking about to is Angel Gilbert. I haven't had custody of them since years ago. Do you need that information too? Or? Well, you say you had nine. All your kids. Those, you, I'm you, only missing, okay. You got nine, you, you're a little short. A couple short there. Okay, I'm going to put the ones that are I don't have right here, not custody. Okay, mm-hmm. And where are they at? Those, What's their, these ones are, he went to foster care, ones with the uh, grandmother. Mm -hmm. Then I have the other one we took, they took custody. Okay. So. How long you live here, ma'am? I've been here two. Two years. She said her name, he said it was the boy girl. She says the girl. Oh, she. Mimi. Mimi. You're, you're Mimi? No, that's Tati. Oh. <laughs> something about Patrick. Do you know anything about Patrick? He stays in Texas. I mean, we were together for about two years. What's his last name? Strong. We wasn't together actually too, too long. He was mm -hmm. just like an internet thing. Do you know his, and do you know his, uh, like when he was his birthday or anything? No. That I did not. You know, we... What's Jordan's last name? Rodriguez. He took it from me. You got a phone number here, man? Um, his phone just recently disappeared. Oh, my phone, 216-456-4301. Okay. 
So who you, how many kids, you have these children to live with you, mm -hmm. right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six live with you. Yes. Um, do you live here by yourself or, or do yeah, you live with anyone? Yeah, technically I'm here by myself. I mean, Chris okay. Chris comes and goes, you know, back and forth. Chris is the one that's in jail right now. Yes, he's been in jail since October 24th or October 25th. Okay. Okay. And that's in Medina County. Yes. Who was he arrested for? Um, he was arrested for child support. Oh, child support. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. How many kids does he have? He has one. One. And he's fifteen. Yeah. Oh, the other boy is fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Man, I would really love to get in touch with Jordan. Okay. Okay. Is there any way I can give you when I find the number to um, contact you? Who, who? I got two. Any of the kids disabled? Uh, he's not really disabled, but that's the one that's with his dad. No. No. Oh, what do you mean? He's just SSI. He don't. He can't talk. How old is he? He's he's just turned five. Oh, okay. That's the where's he living? He's Texas. staying. Not. He doesn't live there, but he's just visiting for the holiday. Um. What? In Texas? Yeah. And what, he usually lives here? Yeah. Okay. What, uh, what, you got a family member in Texas? I'm gonna, that's why I said, is there a number or something where I can contact you guys? How long he's, has he been in Texas? Well, you can get it now. It's not a big deal. We'll wait. Right. How long has he been in Texas? He's been all, only over there for a couple weeks. Because he goes over there to, you know, visit and stuff like that. Well, wait a minute. He goes where to? Huh? No. No. He He's goes. Father. Yeah. Sperm, he goes. To, I want to say sperm donor. But. He goes to Texas to visit. Yeah. He's been. He goes there. He went there last year. Went there this year. Okay. Because uh, he just goes to visit family out there. But I mean, other than that, he's here. So so Jordan has he has family members in Texas. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Do you know any numbers? Or any, how to get in touch with anybody who actually lives in Texas. I mean, right now, his phone just got disconnected. What's his address? Um, I, I mean, don't you just didn't send the kid to who knows who, right? I mean, no. I mean, I don't know the address personally because me and his dad don't really associate like that. But you let him go with him, right? Right. He just had his phone disconnected. He's going to be calling me with the phone number. So, and that's the only way I can contact him. Oh, so. Can I try to figure out a